Well, you've just gotten your new HWS and you're gonna to wanna to mount it on your firearm. So the question is, how and where do I mount it? First thing that's very important is you wanna make sure on all of our models that the battery compartment is facing the muzzle. The most ideal optimal spot is, so the rear of the holographic sight is about even with the discharge block on an AR. We have two styles of mounts. We have a quick detach mount system with a locking lever and we have the bolt-on style in several models of sights that use an Allen head set screw to mount. Begin by opening the quick detach lever. I wanna place it on the firearm, and now I wanna hold it forward and close the lever. Now, the orientation on this, it's about just a little bit even with the discharge block on the ejection port. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust this mount a little bit. I'm going to open up the quick lever. You never want to adjust the tension on a quick detach mount with the lever closed because it could score the protective finish. One click clockwise to tighten it. And then we test it again. To remove it now, press the lock backwards and open this and it'll lift off. Now I'm going to show you how to mount our bolt-on models. The sights come already configured that will fit on a Picatinny or Weaver base, and they have a locking bar in place and an Allen head bolt. There is an optional coin head bolt that's included with these sights. You want to place it on the firearm so it's on the slot. You want to hold it forward, and you want to tighten the Allen head bolt to a nominal finger tightness where you're not going to have it slide back and forth. If you're a tech person, that is 18 inch pounds. As you can see, all I need to do is make sure that I can't move it backwards and I'm good to go. It's keeping the sight from moving forward during recoil.